the process is very much in the in the match referee in the ICC's hands. I think the fact that uh, Australia have admitted to what they've done uh, sort of makes it comes it, it certainly comes across as very unfortunate, and there's no place for that in in, in cricket at all. Uh, and I'm sure they're going to go through the internal processes. The ICC are going to get involved, uh, but from a Cricket South Africa perspective, we just got to make sure that we try and win this game. Yeah, you know, I can't really talk for them, but when the evidence is, is as damning as it was, uh, sometimes it's it's sometimes just better just to plea and to come clean. Uh, and that's probably what they were thinking. Yeah, it can certainly do go two ways. I mean, we've always been used to Australian team that wants to lead from the front, almost bully you on the field and off the field. Uh, and we've, to a certain extent, we've, we've managed to minimise that. Uh, but it can also go the other way, is when somebody is wounded and their backs are against the wall, they come out, you know, blazing. But from our perspective, it's to control what we can do. Uh, it certainly is a good cricketing wicket. We need to make sure that we can at least get another 50 to 100 runs this morning and then start putting the pressure onto them with the ball. Most definitely. Uh, we've had Otis Gibson address the boys this morning and the focus very much is about applying relentless pressure to be focused on what the job is at hand and uh, from a mental space they're certainly in a good one. So, I mean reverse swing is trying to change the condition of, of the ball but in a legal way and I think many teams try and do that. Uh, Coming back to your, your initial question, I think from a relation point of view, I don't think it will affect the, the relations between the two boards. Certainly, for, as far as the two teams are concerned, it's, it's very hard on the field. But off the field, I mean, you've got to respect the opposition. Now, certainly no investigation from CSA. Uh, I'm not sure what ICC's position is on that. Uh, but as far as we are concerned, I mean, we leave it in the ICC for them to make a call on what the next steps are and what the sanction is going to be. Yeah, that was a bit surprising in a sense that they didn't change the ball because the condition of the ball at the time hadn't been affected. But from my understanding and of the rules is that if there's evidence like there was, which was uh, pretty much for everyone to see, then they should have changed the ball and a five-run penalty should have been awarded. Not immediately and certainly not at the time. I think, you know, with international cricket, the way that it's pl played on the international stage, uh, there are just so many cameras nowadays. So uh, if, if people are trying to to do anything untoward, uh, it's just a matter of time before, before they'll be exposed. No, we've always enjoyed the, the Newlands crowd. I mean, this is the best supported venue in the country and we just love playing here. I think we, we need to just understand that there's, there's passion among supporters as well and where do we draw the line? We keep talking about the line. If We've been to Australia on a number of occasions and if the same rule had to be applied, probably half the stadium would have been chucked out. So I think, you know, everybody just needs to understand that there's, there's a limit. You know, you can't be abusive, you can't be vulgar, you can't be racist, you can't be sexist. But beside that, if it's banter, then we don't have any issues at all. From our perspective, we love the Newlands crowd.